this is the one year update of the kitchen. I did read all of your comments on the kitchen cabinet video and don't worry, I'm not gonna do like a mini vlog for this one. This is strictly kitchen business. I'm not gonna waste your time. I know a lot of people were like, I don't care about what she eats for lunch. At that time, I was doing more vlog videos, so I just threw in like a bunch of stuff, but now I do like separate vlog videos and separate DIY stuff, so thumbs up for that, don't worry. But I just wanted to show you how the Beyond Paint, which thank you to Beyond Paint for sponsoring this video and this update, because I am so surprised with how it's been after a year. It looks like exactly pretty much the same of when we painted it. So I'm gonna get into detail about how that looks after a year and then also the countertops and the backsplash. We did get new appliances from the last video. I'm just gonna get right into it. So we painted this as well. It was a big brown oak, obviously as you saw in the last video. This is the new fridge we got. It's Kenmore. And then when you walk here, sorry for all that stuff, but we sanded the bottom and then we painted the top. So right now the countertops, they're still good. As you can see, like there are some nicks on the corners, but that's because we cook extremely a lot. And I don't know if my parents are being as careful as they should be, because pots and pans are going everywhere and it's hard to keep it perfect because like we even have like that little stain there when i first started to do the kitchen it was like i need like a new environment a new brighter kitchen i'll be more excited to cook whatever because this kitchen was like 90s before so for us it was a quicker fix it definitely is like perfect for right before the holidays if you're having a ton of people because all I wanted was a pretty kitchen and I got that pretty kitchen. We spent the cheapest amount of money too, which was amazing. Like I think the whole kitchen took us, I think it was, it was like 800 or $900, which you can't even get like marble slabs for that, like to fit the whole countertop. So it was definitely a quick fix. It lasts totally a year. I'll show you the cabinets now. So the cabinets have still been in amazing shape. I haven't even recognized anything wrong with the cabinets. Like the countertop, you're obviously working on it a lot, so you'll see like the nicks and you'll get mad and all of that. But they are so easy to get just spot treatment on them and then continue to have this beautiful countertop. It hasn't been a problem for us. We've had, we did spot treat some of the nicks and it looks exactly like new. So it's definitely something you can just keep an eye on, fix those things up. The bottom cabinets were sanded and primed, so those are good. We haven't had any issues with them. And the top cabinets were painted with Beyond Paint, and there's no issues with this either. I really don't see anything much. The only thing is maybe like the sides. You can maybe see like a little bit of yellowness coming from the oak behind it, and maybe like the grids here, if you can see. But otherwise, nothing has been crazy. Like, there are a couple nicks here. That's just from, we had a taller thing here and it always hit this top. So if you're keeping things pretty organized and you're taking care of it, I don't think anything should happen to it. The backsplash is also perfect. There are like barely any nicks at all. There's nothing wrong with the backsplash. And that was in one of my blog posts and thing. The only thing is this has been hitting the back of that. So it's just little things like that. If you take care of your countertop and your cabinets and all that, it's going to be fine. It's just that, you know, I don't think we took care of it as much. But we did get this new appliance. We got the microwave to match. Around here where you're cooking a lot, there are little splatters and stuff. You're only supposed to wash it with water. So to get bigger stains out is kind of a hassle. But, you know, like there's this, which probably can be taken off with water. I tried to do my best to clean this up for you guys before, and actually my kitchen has never looked so clean in a really long time, probably since last year. But, um, but yeah, I recommend doing it because it has 
done wonders for just like the whole environment of the kitchen. It's brighter, it's prettier. It's the new, if you saw in the last video, I spray painted our dishwasher, but we just got a matching one to match with that stuff, so that's new. This has stayed over here. This has been fine. And also, so these we spray painted. This one's fine because we don't open up this one a lot, but if you see here, they do have a little bit of dirt on them, but honestly, again, you could touch it up. You could see like the gold brass, because that's they were brassy before, but you can touch that up as well with some paint, let it dry, and it will be fine. So if you're looking for something super perfect, you have the money to spend, sure, go ahead and spend it on marble and all that, and new cabinets, but that is so pricey. Like I think the average to redo a kitchen is like 15 to 20K, where this took us, $900 for just like, I'll give a bigger view, like a brighter, brighter kitchen, not 90s. We do have the doilies or whatever. My parents are from Poland, so we have to have those, of course, but it's so much brighter. We have the skylight giving in light. Honestly, it's just been such a nice environment to cook in now, and it just feels good in here, and especially like Again, if you're having people over for the holidays, it's such a quick fix. It took us, probably the countertops, it took me like three days. And then the cabinets took us probably like two or three days. So it really did not take a long time at all. We also got a new blind here because we had, I think we had a worse one than the pink one up there. But this one was from Select Blinds. And honestly, it's been so nice to have and so easy to use. Like you can't see anything from the sides. And when I let go of it, it goes up so slowly and just goes all the way to the top. Like it's actually so satisfying to open that up. I'm trying to think if there's any other questions you guys might have. I like that we did it this way. My mom has said she wanted to maybe get real marble countertops probably after my wedding next June with all those costs, but they're gonna save up for it and they maybe just want like real marble as they're getting older to not have to deal with all the little nicks and stuff. This was such, like I said, such a great fix. I don't think that they're gonna redo the cabinets ever because they're so pretty. There's no reason to redo these cabinets. Like, I don't think they would ever even redo the top to just get professional white cabinets in because you cannot tell that they're painted at all. And we did get these little felt things so it doesn't make noise when you close them. So there are ways to make your kitchen look so much brighter and happier with not a ton of money. I did want to show this for the countertops. So we did have a little bit of issues here with it scraping off and I think maybe it's because when you're washing dishes in here you're you know you're touching this area a lot and I don't know if water had anything to do with it but this area is fine and this is fine it was just the corners so I did touch that up a couple days ago and it looks like brand new I'll actually show you we did two other rooms with the beyond paint cabinets so sorry it's not clean but we did this bathroom this was oak and we didn't do the bottom because we were just too lazy and you don't really see it when you're walking in so sorry for the laziness but I got new brass handles. We did the white there and it makes the whole bathroom again so much brighter. I would wish we got a white window but maybe in the future but again so much brighter. I'll just put the before after picture here but we use the paint here. Everything looks good. There are a couple nicks because my mom does her makeup in here, so you can see a couple color, like her foundation or something on there, but that can be easily wiped off with water. So it looks so much nicer, so much cheaper than redoing your cabinet. And the other room we did was this other bathroom in our house, and I was so excited about this one. This one we did for my dad's Christmas present. So we painted the walls. You'll see in a second, I just love this room. So again, we did the white cabinets in here. I still have to do the top. That, I still have to paint that white. The window is still that color. And the toilet came to, in this house with the blue toilet. I don't know why. We didn't do anything with the baseboards. We got some gray bottoms. This was all beyond paint. We got new handles. I'll put the before picture in here as well. 
but the sink we kept, the faucet we kept, we did the Gianni countertops here as well. And everything looks still so good. That's kind of it. If you have any other questions, you can write in the comments because I read them all, trust me. And I try to answer what I can. But overall, I've loved the kitchen update and I would do it 100% again and my parents would too. They love it. So let me know if you have any questions. I hope you liked this video and it wasn't like all over the place like the other ones. But thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Go check out my vlogs. I'm getting married next June. So if you care, go check them out. Thank you. Bye.